أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم لا سهلة إلا ما جعلت سهلة وانتج الحزن شيء سهلة Listen 9.2 Congruence and Corresponding Parts In this lesson you can use properties of rotations, reflections and translation to identify congruent part, congruent figure and its misfined missing measure Okay we, for, At the beginning we must know what that means Triangle ABC, that's one, it's congruent, that means this is the congruent. It is congruent to DEF. Okay, so A with which? With D. Angle A with angle D. Look, same. One line, one line. Okay, A with D. Also B with E. You must know that B with E. So here B, right angle, E, right angle. Very good. B with E. The last one, C with F. Two line with F, two line. Okay. At the beginning, we write congruent angles. Then we must write congruent sides. Congruent side or corresponding side, it's now take it two point. A, B. A with B, so this line with one line, same A with D. D e. You must write in correct order. So A with D, A B with D E. Don't uh, don't miss the order. Okay, A B with D E, and complete all the part. Let's see our questions. Write congruent statement. Comparing the corresponding parts in each of said congruent figure. Question number one. Let's write corresponding part, then corresponding angle, then corresponding uh, sides. Before that, we must write the name of this triangle. Okay. We have triangle W. U, W, U, S. It's congruent. Must write one line, two line, three. X, X, Y, T. You must write in write in same order. Okay, let's write corresponding angles. Angle W. It's congruent. Angle what? S. Angle S or U. It's no matter which one. It's congruent S with three line with angle T. Okay, angle U congruent with angle Y. You can write Y it same as U. We finish corresponding angles. Now let's write corresponding part uh, sides. Okay. W U this side it's congruent to the side you can write from here W U you can write X Y okay you can write from the figure it's okay W U with angle with the side X Y then U S with what congruent to the side U S Y T U S with Y T. Okay. Last one. W. S. It's congruent to W. W and S. You must say X and T. Okay. X and T. If you want to write S W. You must write S with what? S W with T X. You can write this one. You can write that. If you you change the order, you must change the also the angle. Okay. This is question number. It's question number two. Same. At the beginning, we will write M N. It's easy to write with one line, two line, O P. It's congruent to Y, 
زد دبليو اكس اوكي نو رايت كورسبوندنج انجل 1 باي 1 اوكي ام وذ وات وذ وات ام وذ واي سو اي ويل رايت فروم هير اوكي انجل ام كونغرون تو انجل واي انجل ان اتس كونغرون فروم هير اوكي فروم ذا نيم كونغرون تو انجل زد انجل او اتس كونغرون تو انجل دبليو انجل بي اتس كونغرون to angle X. You can check from the figure. We finish corresponding angles. Okay, let's write corresponding. Okay, corresponding side. MN congruent to YZ. Also, I will write from the name here. Okay, take two, two letter with two letter. Okay, then NO congruent to ZW. Okay, then OP, the side, it's congruent to the side WX. The last one, PM, it's congruent XY. You can't say P M with P must be with X. Angle then corresponding side. Corresponding angle then corresponding side. And miss first write the letter in order. Okay.